All right, so welcome back to another exciting episode of Sativa Life Podcast, episode three. Uh, I'm your host again, Rigo, and today we have a true combat <laughs> sports warrior joining us. Um, he's left literally a huge mark in the BKFC Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. <clears throat> he's very known, very well known for being fearless, <laughs> aggressive, unrivaled passion for the sport. You know, you can feel it every time we are talking about BKFC and the fights that you have coming up. Uh, really a force to be reckoned with. Um, absolute pleasure having you today, Luis Palomino. Thank you for coming on to our show today. Oh, thank you for having me, brother. Thank you, man. And, uh, you know, today we're going to be kind of walking through your journey, mm -hmm. uh, through your fights from before BKFC, hopefully <laughs> after BKFC, all of the above. And, uh, more importantly, your wellness on how you take care of yourself because, you know, being in the fighting industry, you know, injuries oh are going to yeah. happen, oh you yes. know. So we want to talk about how, you know, we help you with your protocol before a fight and more importantly, after the fight, you know, how do you recover and how we at Sativa help you out with that as well. Yes. Okay. So... <clears throat> Without further ado, let's just kind of jump into it <laughs> and let's kind of, you know, see what we'll start off the easiest way. You know, what is it that you like to do at Zativa? And I know you go to the South Miami store. <laughs> so what uh, what do you like to do most importantly in your favorite? It's your go to in terms of what we offer. Well, my go to, whether it's when I'm in camp or out of camp <laughs> is you can probably call me. I'm an uh, IV addict. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an IV addict, man. I spent so many years of my life, you know, something about 17 years fighting professional. I've taken so many pills when it comes to vitamins. Right. You know, and it's like, it's a daily thing. I'm very disciplined, you know, so it's like every single day, I'm talking about like 10, 15 vitamin pills trying to get all, you know, your, your nutrients in, right? Right. Because you're not going to be able to find, even, even when you're a professional athlete and you're eating proper, you're just not going to consume enough of the nutrition that you need, enough of the nutrition that you expel when you right. train and you put your body through the things that we put our bodies through. Yeah, you need a supplement. <laughs> exactly. So like in, in when the food was going to break it down, you're going to get about, what, 25%, 30% you know, yeah. of that vitamin. If you, you take the pill, um, you'll probably get about 25%, 30%. Right. When you do an IV to the vein, you get 99.9%. .9 That's right. You know, of all those vitamins and minerals that your body needs. You know, and it's, you know, it, there's a lot of sicknesses and, and diseases that can be evaded just by maintaining your body loaded with the proper vitamins and nutrients that it needs. Right. You know, but we just don't look at it that way. You know, yeah, I said, athlete, think, I've been forced to. <laughs> yeah, people think, oh, I, I haven't gotten sick in a while. Oh, it's just my time. Yeah. Not necessarily, mm -hmm. right? No. You know, keeping up with, you know, the IVs and, and everything else, and more importantly, the vitamins and minerals yes because you can't consume it just like you said on food no i mean you you, you can you can try to eat as clean mm. as you can but you, you're gonna you're not just not gonna you're not gonna consume enough exactly you know um i spend i remember about five years without a single cough a single sneeze a single fever i didn't get sick for five years wow before covid <laughs> right right I didn't get sick for five years, and I would say that the number one thing about that was that every time I felt something, like a little itch in my throat, or I felt like my low energy, right? I go, sativa, pop, do my IV, I rest the next day, and the following day, I'm training again, and I wouldn't get sick. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, when COVID hit, you know, I kind of abused my body. You know, <laughs> I, I, I was celebrating, you know, my engagement party, celebrating a fight. It was like several days of drinking, you know, in COVID time when everybody's getting sick. And I was just like, like looking at people like, you get, you know, what is that? Because right. I wouldn't, I hadn't gotten sick in five years. Oh, I so see. I kind of like, you know, I, I abused, you know. But you celebrated good things. You know what <laughs> I mean? Getting, getting engaged is always a good thing. Yes, yes. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Um, yeah. And, you know, just to kind of hop on that, I... I do the same thing. I barely get sick. You know, I'm, I have a huge regimen of doing this at least once a week in terms of the IV. And every single time that I, and I, I probably say once that I may have started feeling a little bit like something's coming on. Mm. I was like, all right, let me go get an immune bag. Mm -hmm, and yeah. I just did the immune bag. And then the next day I'm like, Oh, okay. I'm rock solid. again. I'm, <laughs> I'm good. To it go. works. It does. It, it, really, it really does works. work. Yes. It really does work. And, um, 
I know that you come in and you don't only do the IVs. Mm -hmm. I know that you've done multiple things mm -hmm. at our store. Um, in terms of cryotherapy, what have you felt that has worked for you in terms of the cryotherapy? So cryotherapy, um, you're going to find this a little funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, the ice, you know, dipping in ice, I've yeah. been doing for so many years. Right. You know, and, and when I do the ice dipping with my wife now, <laughs> I don't know how the hell she can take it so much. But I, I'm, I'm a little soft when it comes to the ice. <laughs> and I can't hang in there as long as she can. It's like, oh, it's like a battle. It's like a battle against her. But when it comes to the cryotherapy, it, you know, when you're, when you're dipping in ice, you're looking at, at the maximum of 10 minutes to get the results. Right. And, and you'll do it, probably do it like in the three-minute trips. And so you can develop, you know, enough to be able to stay there for the whole 10 minutes. Right, you know? right. But when it comes to cryotherapy, you're talking about three minutes. Yeah, man. So it cuts it down to three minutes. But now, the thing is, you need consistency with the cryotherapy. Yes. So like it's just one day is not gonna do it. You know, like you feel something, but right. it's not gonna it's not gonna make magic. You're absolutely you right. Know? But I mean, if you do it two, three times a week, that's right. Both three minutes, two, three times a week. Yeah. And that's easy. Anybody <laughs> can do that, right? Exactly. And that's why one of the things we do is we do it in packages of ten. Oh, there and you that go. and that's the cheapest way to do it. And we're like, hey, look, do it in ten. You know, the first time they feel good, mm -hmm. but once they start getting consistent, then it, it's kinda you get addicted, kind of yes. like what you were saying with the IVs, yes. to the cryo because they just feel this energy that yes. comes. Yes, and upon for them. the ladies, you know, it'll tighten your skin. It yeah. promotes a lot of beauty for the, for the ladies, right? Right. For us, you know, it speeds up the recovery process of the mus muscle. Absolutely, yeah. and for me, you know, just in terms of all the work that we put in, mm -hmm. you know, and time and energy, it definitely helps me sleep better oh, at yes. night. Oh yes, definitely relieves a lot of anxiety. Definitely, relieves definitely. a lot of. Well, and just in general, you, your dopamine goes up through the roof, oh, yeah. which is great. Um, and the best thing is it's dry. So it's yeah. not like you're dripping you don't gotta get wet. Yeah, you don't got to get you wet take, or take anything. Take the cold for three minutes. Right? You'll be right. all right. <laughs> That's right. Awesome. Awesome. And then I know that we were talking about this, you know, off camera in terms of injuries and stuff like that. You know, we were talking about stem cell therapy. Mm -hmm. You know, we definitely offer that at Sativa. We, yes. we do a lot of that with our normal clients as well not just our athletes mm -hmm. but in terms of the stem cell how do you feel that that's benefiting well, the you stem, the stem cell is, is something i'm still looking forward to trying okay but i've done my own research on it which you know i urge you guys to do your own research on this the, this is that if there's anything close to being called magic for recovery and healing right that's it there's nothing higher than that right now Stem yep. cells are it. Like, I've done enough reading on it. I know enough people that have done it. I know enough people that have injected it to certain areas that they don't feel no more pain on. Right. I've heard of people, I know of people that have done it, the IVs. I go, man, and I've only heard positive things, great things, and I'm like, I'm like dying to do it already. You're dying to do oh, it. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. No, and we, and we do it through IVs, and we also do localized. And we could even do a mix of both. You know, and our stuff, we always have, you know, a certificate of authenticity. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is the real deal. Well, this isn't something that's just shipped from China or something. Like yeah. That. This is definitely yeah. our local suppliers that we work very close with. Nice. And it's serious, you know what yeah. I mean? Because it is, it is important to make sure that whatever you're putting inside your body, like you said, people should research. Of course. You know, we have a lot of information on, you know, at our store with our professionals, but also online. You mm -hmm. know, we could educate anybody on that but yes I, i've done i've done a few sessions of prp yeah and and for those that don't know prp you know they'll draw some blood out of your own uh, veins and they'll spin it out and separate the plasma from the from the blood right and inject that plasma into those areas and that works right right but that's like here <laughs> and now stem cells here <laughs> <laughs> like this stem cell is it i'm, I'm yeah, ready for it man i'm ready for it. i've only heard great things about well, it. well we're excited for for us <laughs> to give it to you because we definitely have a, a huge <laughs> supply waiting for you so awesome. we're, we're ready <laughs> and then um also you know when you're training for these fights you know again we were talking about it there's a lot of cardio involved oh, there's yes. a lot of you have to i mean you're fighting bare knuckle for <laughs> jesus five rounds potentially <laughs> you know you want to obviously finish them quick but sometimes you do have to go the distance and you're fighting really hardcore guys you know we do you know we do a lot of ozone therapy mm -hmm. you know how has that helped out with you so you know it, it, for us it's, it's five two minute rounds and and for the bare knuckle world is 
the difference between bare knuckle and cardio speed, right? Right. Uh, between bare knuckle and glove boxing, that's thirteen rounds, or right. or or MMA, that's three five minute rounds, unless you're going to a title fight, that's five five minute rounds. Right. The difference is in glove boxing, it's kind of like a marathon. You know, you're going in an anaerobic aer- aerobic pace. Right. You know what I mean? And once in a while, you get into an anaerobic ex- exchange. But mainly, you're, you're, you're... Consistent. Yeah, you're consistently going in an aerobic space, you right, know? Right, And MMA is a mixture of aerobic and anaerobic. But it's mainly, I think, more in the aerobic, unless there's, like, the wars, you know? And then it comes right. down, it's aerobic. Bare knuckle boxing, and the reason why it's growing at the f- speed that it is, the excitement that it produces, is because this is an anaerobic sport. And some of the fighters in the organization don't even understand that yet, <laughs> you know, because I've, I've had several guys come to my gym that are in the organization or the one to go and they have no idea what they're doing when it comes to cardio. The cardio is anaerobic. It's anaerobic. It's, it's only two minutes. Right. It's five two minute rounds, which means you got to go, you know, you got to be hard. You're, you're, you're at the, yeah. So to get ready for that cardio, you know, the cardio, you, you got to build a base of aerobic conditioning to then start doing your your explosive sprinting for the anaerobic. Right. And when it comes to ozone, I, I tried, um, I started doing ozone here and I noticed, like sometimes I do this and it doesn't go all the way through. Right. All right. And the difference between when I do do the ozone, right, I would just one simple time and smoothly go all the way through. It's like what you're doing is you're just adding more oxygen to your system. That's right. You know, naturally, right? Naturally. It's a natural oxygen oxygen. You're oxygenating your blood your bloodstream, right? In a safe way. It's for me it's done tremendous, tremendous help. You know, I get conditioned a lot faster. It's just it it cuts, you know, the, the speed in which I get conditioned for those anaerobic trades. Right. It makes total sense. Yes. It makes total sense. Yeah. No, we we love doing that. I mean, there's different ways of, of getting the ozone therapy, but the traditional way that we normally through blood draw mm-hmm. you know an iv and mm-hmm. we mix it with o3 gas and it's amazing to see how it goes from like a nice burgundy to like a ferrari right? <laughs> yeah You're like oh my god what happened yeah. and it gets pumped in and that same day you feel pretty good but yes. the day after you feel like and it promotes healing it so does it's, it's like it's so many benefits it's not just that you'll get some more wind in your in your system is it actually promotes healing because you have more oxygen in your blood system exactly yeah. exactly and um you know, one of the things that I do see that you, every time that you come, very often, you always bring <laughs> your wife. Yes. And she's a lovely woman, very <laughs> beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, very sweet lady. She also gets a lot, you know, done at Sativa. Yeah, so like I told you, my addition with the IVs, right? And, and this woman is like, this woman is a soldier from another world, right? <laughs> like, she will go, man. We we have this one thing that we say, uh, say in our house that get get things done, and not in those words, like in a dirtier word. <laughs> we gotta get things done today, and she'll just start from the, like we wake up every day, you know, five five thirty in the morning every right. single day, and we just get started, you know. But she like I'll like I'll take a little nap in between my days, you know, like after one Sunday set of training, I'll take a little hour nap or thirty minute break, and right. then go go do it again. For her, she just go, 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 and she'll go until she crashes, man. I'm like, yo, you know, like, <laughs> so she like, take it easy, you know. She like she she will go. She's a soldier. She'll go until she crashes. I love you it, you know. And then she has this thing like, I'll do it myself. I do. It. She's very independent, you know. For her. So I told, her, okay, I'm not gonna be able to stop you. I'm not trying to stop you from being yourself. This this how you function, right? But at the very least, we gotta put some real fuel in you, you know, right. because you're not gonna get enough of it from the food that we're eating. You know, even though we are health freaks, uh, she's an amazing cook, you know, and we know a fair fair amount of nutrition, but you just don't consume enough. Right. You know, she trains as well. She trains with me too. You know, she can kick. She's a black belt in karate. Oh, wow. She can kick. She does kickboxing because I've been teaching her and we're probably getting her ready for her bare knuckle debut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, 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 she's no, way no. too pretty for that, man. No, 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 no man. But um, I had to like, load her up and, and back her immune system. I said, okay, look, you're not going to slow down. You're not gonna, I'm not going to try to change anything about you because I love it, but we're going to give you some backup. So Good. when I go do an IV, you're going to do an IV too. Awesome. And she's like, okay, so every time that you see me here, I'll bring her with me. Especially if, if sometimes it'll be just because I saw her 
starting to go, ooh, the energy starting to go down. Right. And the problem with this is prevention is the thing here, right? If your immune system is slow, you're more likely to get sick, to pick up a bug, whether it's a stomach bug or a virus or, or, or a cold, anything right. that's going around, brewing on the air, you're going to catch it because your immune system is weak. You have to keep your immune system strong. And for that, you need rest. You need vitamins and nutrients. That's right. It's as simple as that. It's very simple. You don't need medication. No. I'm, I'm, I have no problem with doctors. I love doctors. I think that they're doing the best. Of course. But I do have a problem with modern medicine. I agree. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with turning off the lights that are letting us know that there's something wrong with us. Right. You know what I mean. I don't agree with that. When there are so many things that we can do to prevent those lights from turning on, and actually taking care of the root cause. Right. You know, which begins with your immune system. So if you do a sativa life immune boost IV, I guarantee you, you will be stronger and more in a better position to fight off any flying around viruses and things that are going on around right now. No, that's really good to know. And I'm glad that you touched on that because we definitely focus on wellness and preventive care. We want you to feel good, look good the entire time. Yeah. You know, it's not only aesthetics. Yeah. We do Botox and stuff mm -hmm. like that. That's great. But we really hype and focus on the wellness side. That's why we have a great partnership with BKFC you know, and we have a lot of fighters. Mm -hmm. I mean, definitely having a champ is always <laughs> an amazing thing to be able to help you with your protocol and make sure that you're always staying healthy. Yes. But preventive care is exactly what we're looking for. So I really appreciate <laughs> that you mentioned that because that's that's what our goal is. <laughs> that's exactly go. what our goal is. And um, in terms of goals, mm -hmm. you look like you're in great shape right <laughs> now, right? I know the last fight that you did, you had was I, – I was there, thankfully. <laughs> I got to see that front row. It was phenomenal. Um, when – you know, you're training, obviously, because I could tell in your yes. body composition that you're training really hard still. Yes. You know, what are you looking forward to in, for your next fight? You know, when's your next fight? What, what would you like to see for your next fight? Well, as we sit here at a 9-0 record, Two-way division, undefeated champion, which I'm the only one, right? That's um right. I think I've I've more than earned and deserved a shot at fighting one of these so-called big names, one of so-called so tough guys that have been signed to the organization by BKFC. We've seen that Mike Perry has gotten the opportunity to fight the Luke Rockhold and and Hector Lombard, right? No, not Hector Lombard. It was the other guy he fought before Luke Rockhold was... Uh, Bellator, Michael Venom Page. So he got the opportunity to get some big names in there, right? right. And then we had uh, Juggernaut get the opportunity to get some UFC. Like he fought Hector Lombard. Yeah. And he fought, That's uh, right. what's his name? Um, Diesel. Yeah. Joe Riggs. You know, he's gotten those opportunities, right? And, you know, I'm over here with my hand raised up. You know, <laughs> look, I see a lot of fighters in the organization right now that have not fought anybody. And I have no problem with that. They they have good management. And and but my problem is where everybody is like, I'm the toughest man. I'm it, I'm it, I'm it, I'm it, I'm I'm, 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 I'm. Meanwhile, I'm here. I'm the champion. I'm the undefeated champion. And I'm here calling out the guys. Like I it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't have to be the champion calling out somebody. It should be everybody targeting the champion. Right. You know? And we have one or two guys that will like say, yeah, we want to fight you. Of course, you have two fights. Okay? Nobody knows who you are. Of course, you want to fight a champion. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about the big names. We wanna, we wanna, I want to be a part of helping the organization grow, but I need the opportunity to do so. Got it. I, need, I need the right, the right opponents. You know, we had uh, Chad Mendes literally duck me for an entire year, come out of retirement to fight Eddie Alvarez. Supposedly went back into retirement. And then we have... Eddie Alvarez comes, and and I'm thinking, okay, great, you know, I got I got a good I got, I got somebody in my weight class, you know, I look up to this dude, I, and I don't look up, I was I'm a fan, I'm a right. fan of Eddie Alvarez, you know, he's a great fighter. Uh, well, I was, I was, <laughs> you know, I was. until I, until I found out what kind of person he really is, because it's like you can't, it just doesn't fit in my brain that you went to 
Bellator, collected gold. You went to UFC, collected gold. You went to Pride in Japan and tried to collect gold. You couldn't make it. And here I am offering you a title shot. And you just looking the other way like nobody's offering a title shot. So, like, what happened? Your balls fall off or something? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what happened? You know, like, you don't believe that you can be a champion in this organization? That you don't believe you can beat me? You know, um, I think that that's the fight to make. Eddie Alvarez versus Luis Palomino were in the same weight class. We can I'll fight him in any weight class that he chooses. Well, that that's good to see. That's good to know that you're you're ready, and that's obviously why you're still training pretty hard, and why you're <laughs> still doing a lot of the protocols that we give you here at Sativa. Which yes, is good. I, I'm getting ready for December just in case. I don't have no name yet. I don't have no date yet. Um, but I only fought once this year. And I've told the, the organization over and over again, my worst enemy is not being active. I, I am 43 years old. Um, I feel great, but I should not be fighting once a year. At the bare minimum, I have to fight a second time this year. So me, I'm keeping my eyes open and keeping my body ready for December, hoping that somebody will accept. Somebody with a good name, big name will accept the fight. Gotcha. And then in terms of what you were saying, you know, because of time and everything else and fighting only uh, potentially only once a year, mm. in terms of your private life, you know, with your family and stuff like that, how how are you balancing your time with your family and maintaining your wellness, you know, while you're training? Because you're still training pretty hard. Yes. So you're still training hard, getting ready for that fight mm -hmm. that hopefully comes December. Looking forward to that. That would be phenomenal. Um, but maintaining that family life balance, you know, how, how have you been able to achieve that and also your wellness side? Cause you're obviously in great shape. Yeah. It's, it's actually been tough for the simple fact that I don't have, um, I don't have a structured, you know, I don't have a structured timeline of when I'm fighting and who I'm fighting. Right. So it's very tough, very tough, but I'm very disciplined. So it, that's what helps me. That's what keeps me where I'm at right now. And I have a very supportive wife, you know. That's good. Everything that we do, we do together. We, you know, we are we see eye to eye in everything when it comes to health, the way that we live. You know, we train together. You know, we eat proper. Like she's an amazing chef. She's an amazing cook. And I can cook myself, but not at the variety that she can. <laughs> But our, our nutritional knowledge, you know, expel, excels in the in the kitchen. So, you know, like my mom used to tell me, you know, you are what you eat. You know what I mean? That's so right. as long as you're eating well, um, taking proper rest and proper supplementation, man, you're doing great. When Sativa's in your corner, <laughs> it doesn't get no easier than that. I appreciate that. I really do. And, um, Luis, I really want to thank you for coming out and having time with us. I really appreciate you explaining everything that you do in terms of wellness and more importantly, what your goals are and what you hope to achieve, you know, in terms of a big fight by December. Yes. I think you're ready. <laughs> I mean, you look great. I know we <laughs> talked you. a little bit before, <laughs> yes. the, you know, before the interview, it was phenomenal. And, uh, and you got a great energy about you, man. <laughs> I mean, you. you're, you're going to do very, very well, you <laughs> know, you. and it's great to have the support also from your family. So of course, just know that we're also here to support you from a secondary family. So <laughs> I appreciate, again, your time, and thank you for awesome. having us. No, thank you, man. Always. Thank you. Thank you.